Hello and welcome to the IU13 IMS podcast. My name is Tim Leister and I am an instructional technology specialist here at IU13. For the next several minutes, I'd like to give you an overview of what the IMS is at IU13. And first of all, the IMS stands for the Instructional Media Services Division of IU13. From valuable district feedback, the IU13 IMS updates and revamps every five years in order to continue to meet district's current needs and initiatives. Our IMS focuses on supporting 21st century skills, digital age literacy, innovative thinking, high productivity, and effective communication. Whether students are studying world languages, math, science, language arts, humanities, social studies, or other electives, our IMS provides materials and resources for everyone. Through the year 2025, the IU13 IMS will provide the following programs to all districts within IU13. They are Brain Pop, Discovery Education, a collection of Gale Research Databases, Sora through Overdrive, and ProQuest Culture Grams. We also have a IMS Lending Library, which includes Star Lab Portable Planetariums, the mobile device kits, the telepresence robot systems, and a new STEM lending library. So I'd like to take a few minutes and look at each one of these programs and materials in a little more detail. Let's start with discovery education. The IE13 IMS provides the full discovery education experience to school districts. Discovery education experience is a high quality digital video on demand library that provides thousands of videos, images, clip art, interactives, and many other teacher resources. Through discovery education, teacher and students can create interactive lessons with videos, text, images, and content all designed to align with the K-12 standards. Just recently in the summer of 2021, a huge update occurred where Discovery Education released many new enhancements to save teachers time and engage students with new tools. There are now video quizzes, activity builders, and even QR code sign-ins for students. If you haven't checked out Discovery Education recently, now's the time to look at it. Next up, Brain Pop. Brain Pop is a great educational tool to help engage and motivate student learning independently in small groups and with direct instruction. You can investigate multiple topics, units in science, math, social studies, English, and with Tim and Moby, students learn through video lessons and take quizzes to capture their learning. With Brain Pop Junior for grades K to two, Brain Pop for three to eight, and Brain Pop Espanol, there are many different games as well as teacher resources to access. Sora from Overdrive provides access to ebook publications from the number one ebook provider to libraries in the world. Not only will students enjoy many fiction titles, they will have access to nonfiction titles supporting the standards and Lexile reading levels of all students. Readers can check out ebooks and audiobook titles via any device or specifically with the Sora mobile app. A committee of IU13 librarians continually curates the ebook collection to keep it current and provide age appropriate titles for all students. Next is Gale Resources. Gale Resources provides online databases with continuously updated references for students. That includes full text magazines, academic journals, news articles, primary source documents, images, video, audio files, and more in a user-friendly portal experience. The IMS specifically provides two da Gale databases to all secondary students. The first being the Student Resources in Context, which is an engaging online experience for those secondary students seeking contextual information on a wide array of subjects. The other database is the Opposing Viewpoints in Context. This is for students seeking contextual information and opinions on hundreds of topics around today's hottest social issues. 
And finally, the last digital program that I'd like to highlight is Culturegrams. Through the use of Culturegrams, our students can travel to exquisite places in the world. They can research new cultures, languages, foods, and customs. Culturegrams is a searchable database that contains, contains concise, reliable, and up-to-date cultural information on more than 200 countries, all 13 Canadian provinces and territories, and each U.S. state. The database provides online resources, including worldwide photo galleries, slideshows, video clips, famous people collections, recipes, and create your own data tables with selected information. Okay, so now it's time to switch gears a little bit and focus on the IMS materials that are available for sign out that can be reserved and delivered directly to each one of your schools. IU13's IMS provides materials that can be reserved and delivered directly to schools. All of these materials require educators to complete a certification course in order to have it delivered. These certification courses are offered throughout the year and are usually can be completed within one day. One of our most popular sign out items is our Star Lab Planetarian Systems. Using one of four Star Lab portable planetarium systems, students can explore with their teachers the galaxies, constellations, and even biology cells, plate tectonics, and Greek mythology. There's a variety of Star Lab kits that have lessons built in on astronomy and other sciences, and also areas around language arts and other curriculum. Next up is our mobile device kits. Our two mobile device kits now contain Apple devices that run the latest iOS operating system to power multiple virtual reality and augmented reality applications. Teachers can take students on over 200 virtual field trips without ever leaving the classroom walls. The classrooms contain 30 devices and 30 VR goggle sets, along with selfie sticks that help with some augmented reality apps. New apps are being added all the time, so be sure to take a look at our current apps listing to see what's available for students and teachers to use. Next is the IU's Telepresence Robot Systems. We have multiple robo robots that were purchased specifically to allow students who will be on extended leave due to medical issues. These robots can be brought to the classroom and allow students to control them from an iPad device from outside the school. This equipment ensures that students can stay connected to their classes, teachers, and peers, and can be signed out for multiple months at a time. A district representative must attend a workshop to learn how to use it so they can teach the student all the aspects of the system. And finally, we are excited to announce that in the fall of 2022, we are expanding our IMS IU13 Lending Library to include STEM items. Available for sign out will be items such as Raspberry Pis, Sphero robots, Makey Makey STEM packs that can be used in STEM classrooms or regular education classrooms that would provide opportunities for students to explore what is available with inside the wide world of STEM. All right, everyone, that just about wraps it up for our first edition of the IU13 IMS podcast. We want to thank you so much for taking the opportunity to join us and learn more about what the IMS has to offer. Please keep tuned for more resources and information related to the IMS. You can always find us online on our blog, on social media, and at other locations to see what's going on within the IMS and how it can be active within your schools with your students. So again, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.